How to design this knob in FreeCAD 1.0 Create a sketch in the part design workbench Select the XZ plane to sketch on Then select the polyline tool Click on the vertical axis Drag the mouse and click on the origin the coordinate shows how long the line will be. The small red line indicates this line will be horizontal. Click on the horizontal axis. Then click above it. Right click twice to exit the polyline tool. So this is how the polyline tool works. Select the dimension tool. Click the vertical line. Click again and enter a dimension. Click the horizontal line. Click again and enter a dimension. Do the same for this vertical line. Now expand the arc tool. And select, create arc by center. Click on the vertical axis. Then click on these two vertices. Right click to exit the arc tool. You can exit the fully constrained sketch. Select the revolution tool to make a revolve. A 360 degrees angle around the vertical axis is correct. Click OK to apply. Click this button to create another sketch. Then select the bottom plane to sketch on. Select the circle tool. Start on the vertical axis. Enter a diameter and press enter. Right click to exit the circle tool. Select the dimension tool. Select the center point and drag the mouse. Enter a dimension and press Enter. You can close the sketch now. Select the pocket tool to make cuts. Select Through All. Also check Reversed. Because the sketch is on the bottom plane. Click OK to apply. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Export FreeCAD models directly to their website with this macro. Then quickly preview your design. Select how it should be manufactured. And submit your request. Let's continue and click on the pocket. Then select the Polar Pattern tool. To make 4 cuts, enter 4 occurrences. The axis and 360 degrees angle are correct. Click OK to apply. Click this edge and press Ctrl. Hold it and select the other edges. Select the fillet tool. Enter a radius and click OK. Consider subscribing if you like my content, thanks. Now select this edge. Hold, Control, and select the other one. Select the fillet tool again. Enter a radius and click OK. All edges are rounded now. This is because of the smooth curvature. 
Click this button again to create another sketch. Then select the bottom plane to sketch on. Select the circle tool. Click the origin, drag the mouse and click again. A sketch diameter is not important for this. Here you see how many dimensions are missing. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the whole feature. You can select a thread profile here. Choose a thread size. Check reversed. Now the hole is visible. Check Threaded. And also check Model Thread. Check this box to update the view. This box lets you add a clearance. A positive number will make the hole bigger. Uncheck the box to disable it. This can be used for 3D printing. Click OK to apply the hole. The hole has been added to the model. It consists of real modeled thread. Click right mouse button on the body. And select Appearance. Click the three dots next to Custom Appearance. And select Diffuse Color. Choose or enter a color code. Click OK to apply. Then click on Close twice to apply the color. The model has been finished. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects. Get commercial access to all my 3D files to sell 3D prints. Thanks for watching. You might find other videos interesting too.